right, for you non-believers, there's the engine oil, mixed with some fuel. There's a block Chevrolet oil pump that I made into a transfer pump that goes through this filter right here. And I'll turn it. second black fuel mule but uh, anyway the first one is fine never had any problem it was 100% reliable this one's been 100% reliable on the fuel uh, like I said the, uh, the old um, 350 SD I had six cylinder car uh, it had uh, issues one time and it was just a matter of getting some water in the fuel so uh, be careful what fuel you run or what oil you run in your fuel you won't have uh, very little to no trouble. Now, uh, in the winter, it's hard on the fuel pump if you try and run straight fuel or straight oil. So I always, you know, sauce it down with a little something. Uh, you know, and since I'm running the factory fuel pump on this truck, I can start it up like this, and it's it's such a volume. It's the fuel pump is designed to pump gasoline to a 4.7 liter V8, and uh, so it's continually returning the fuel. So it mixes itself. I mean, I mix it in the bucket, and then run through that filter and all that, I'm sure it mixes it some. But when it goes in that tank, uh, and the last time I put fuel in this, I actually got fuel at the gas station, uh, diesel fuel. So, uh, you know, it's, it's going to circulate through there and mix through. I'll probably have 65% uh, used motor oil. I'm going to go ahead and fill it up. Uh, like I said, I got a total of two hours driving tomorrow, so I'm going to top it off. And, uh, Said, the guy at the uh, Harbor Freight that uh, now did it. You know, how else to prove it to you, sir? But here it is. Uh, you can't tell any difference. So, uh, oil and fuel, unless it gets really cold, then you can tell the difference. It's a little sluggish. Uh, so I just pull in the gas station and add some diesel fuel or even some gasoline to it. If you put enough used oil in it, you can mix it with gasoline. So anyway, uh, I hardly ever go more than about uh, probably five, six to one ratio of gas to use the oil. I've been messing around with this stuff for about a year now on my own. I've studied it quite a while before I tried it, but uh, you know, I did adjust the valves on this thing, uh, and I put new glow plugs in it, and I put the engine heater on it, and I just changed all the filters. So I'm trying to get it where I can run it all winter without having to wrench on it. So anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, if you any questions or anything on this, let me know. I'll, I'll be glad to help you. Uh, somebody sent me a question, uh, actually it was on Facebook, questioned me about it, uh, putting a Cummins engine in something and doing this. And, and I would say a Cummins would act exactly the same. Uh, they are both Bosch pumps. They have similar setup, piston-driven injection pumps. And, uh, you know, I say go for it. Uh, you know, the worst thing you'd have to do is maybe adjust your uh, fuel-to-oil ratio. So anyway... Saves me a bunch of money, and I kind of enjoy it. And gets rid of a waste product that uh, you know it's not 
not really a good way to get rid of it. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching.